For this demonstration, I'm using the end of my pillowcase that we've been using all along in these introductory videos because it's something that you might already have at home. You don't need to purchase it. So I'm going to show you a basting stitch, which means it's a temporary stitch. And this stitch is meant to connect two or more layers of fabric together. And most often in couture, it's used for a temporary reason. And the other reason is that it's used permanently in tailoring. In tailored garments, there's a lot of work that goes on between the layers that you can't see and it needs to be held together. Now we term it a fuse stitch. So I'm going to go in with my needle and out and then rather than following a line, I'm just going to create this zigzag pattern and I'm going through all the layers of my pillowcase. And we use this a lot in dressmaking and couture, in the preparation work when we are working on pieces that have more layers to keep those layers under control while we're working on them. The other reason is that when we are creating garments with linings, then we use this temporary fuse stitch to fit the lining into the finished garment while we're working on it. It will hold everything together, so it replaces pins, so we don't leave our, leave our pins in, but we can hold our layers together. Now I've got a bit of knotting going on here, and it's not meant to be a permanent stitch. So this is called a fuse stitch or pad stitch. If you're looking it up on the internet, you might see it referred to as a pad stitch. Now there's much more to be said about pad stitches as well, but this is a basic fuse stitch. It is a basting stitch and it is a temporary stitch and it's meant to hold two or more layers of fabric together while we're working on it. Now if we look on the reverse side, you can see that it's just a series of stitches and here you can see it creates this type of patterning. It's also meant to be removed very, very easily, but you can see it does hold layers together. Now I can kind of go like this with my fabric and it will hold everything in place. Okay, so now I'm going to show you quickly how to remove this because we start with a knot and we end with a back stitch. If this was not going around the corner, I could pull it all at once, but I can just quite easily remove my fuse stitching by giving it a pull. So that was a fuse stitch otherwise known as a pad stitch, but pad stitch has more specific applications than this temporary fuse stitch.